Welcome everybody to another issue of European Rotors, the digital series. Innovations, we have them everywhere. Vaccination has started. Quick tests are hopefully becoming another important pillar in getting back to a normal life during the pandemic. And I'm wearing a shirt with a different color. But innovation is also the key word for the company which we are speaking to today. It is called InnoFoam. They are specializing in a very important field of safety for helicopters. And I think we already have a guess. But first, as usual, let's see who I'm having the pleasure to talk to today. Hi, Bernd. May you shortly introduce yourself, please. Hi, Frank. And uh, thanks a lot for the short introduction you gave to, to us. And uh, also, uh, we would like to thank you for the great opportunity that we can join this uh, digital series format uh, that is uh, yeah, very important for us to show up with our company and our products. My name is Bernd Zimmermann at Innoform. I'm the responsible regional area sales manager and responsible for the um, heliport applications uh, in Europe. I have a degree in aeronautical engineering and at least uh, 35 years of working experience. And in the last, let's say 10 plus years, uh, I was working in the uh, helicopter business um, as a business development manager, sales and project manager for heliports and also for offshore helidex. It's a pleasure to have you with us today, Bernd. Thank you so much for the introduction. You know this format is to inform the community about latest developments in the Rotorcraft branch. So what is InnoForm? What is your company doing? You're not only active in the aviation sector, is that right? Yes, that is right. And uh, to make it short, maybe InnoFoam is a specialist in extinguishing foam systems and always or most of the time for customized uh, fire safety solutions. So this is our, let's say, uh, a big issue. And then we are, we are doing business in, like you, like you mentioned it, in uh, different branches. One of the uh, very strong branch is, of course, the aviation and uh, helicopter uh, sector. Another one is the petrochemistry, uh, but also the logistics, uh, ship shipping, and also for the waste recycling uh, companies. Uh, this is this is the branches where we do business in, and we have the own line of uh, products. So that is. Uh, let's say very special for for us and for for all the for all the stuff we do uh, we develop uh, own systems uh, get them certified and then uh, sell them into the market and uh, for example we have our own firefighting monitors you you know them uh, maybe uh, and also foam generators uh, application systems and all also an uh, own uh, foam concentrate and um, at our HQ in, in the Netherlands, in Outcastle, we have uh, also a, a huge uh, variety of uh, demonstration units. We, you know, all in all, we have 38 uh, demo systems running and uh, also a, a, a big capacity, a pump cap capacity where we can perform tests and performances up to 11,000 liters per hour, for example, for factory acceptance tests for our uh, customers. Thank you so much, Bernd. Impressive uh, uh, product portfolio. Uh, I would uh, love to hear about all of your uh, more than 40 plus demos, uh, but we have to concentrate here as European Rotors on the, on the Rotorcraft branch, of course. Um, so the next question, of course, is how important is the helicopter field of activities within your company? Yeah, the helicopter, helicopter field or sector is, uh, is very, uh, very uh, important for us. Um, I would say it is up to 30% of our business. Uh, it, it can change from, from year to year, but that is uh, how, you, how you can name it. And uh, so we did a lot or we do a lot of development in this field uh, to make uh, the, the heliports, uh, the landing spots safe uh, in, in, uh, in regards to, to fire safety. Uh, in addition to that, we also offer uh, uh, um, our after-sales systems 
and after sales uh, services so for um, the after the installation we start with maintenance and yearly and annual maintenance of all systems for the customers so to to make and uh, to make sure that uh, all the systems stay in a in a in a well and, and and safe condition so to provide fire extinguishing systems for helidex and heliports is and of, of course, an important part of safety, especially during the takeoff and landing phase. May you name us some of your latest projects which you were doing? One word, maybe back to the to the importance of uh, heliports. That's also shown at our uh, track record uh, that we have dedicated only for the for the heliport solutions. And there we have more than 30 systems named uh, within the last uh, 10 years that we performed only in Germany. And... Um, uh, a few that we are actually and currently uh, performing or uh, finishing was uh, the, the hospital in Erlangen, rooftop hospital, then for the army hospital in Ulm, also rooftop hospital, and uh, maybe also naming the, the rooftop hospital in, in Darmstadt because it's a very huge installation, very challenging, and, and yeah, all of them are customized solutions. Thanks for that co uh, short overview. Uh during our preparation talks, you mentioned there are several reasons why uh, uh, the community or the customers should visit your headquarters. One is you have your own heliport. Uh, so the customers or the potential interest that people can arrive with their helicopters. But second, and this leads us to one of the aspects of European Rotors, we want to give education and training to the community. Beside the research facility, you have also your own training department. Could you tell us a little bit more about that, please? That is also very important because we, we can not only show and demonstrate all the systems, we can also train the, the, the technical personnel in any, in, in any aspects of the, of, the, of the system and also show up maybe for new clients or for, for authorities uh, or consultants how our systems are working and uh, what maybe is the best uh, system that you can uh, put for your for your project we can show in our research and development center uh, a variety of of uh, latest and state of the art uh, firefighting systems and uh, the we on regular basis okay not now within the pandemic but on regular basis normally uh, we perform seminars uh, and we invite all the, the people come over to to Outcastle and then have at least one day uh, uh, showing up um, uh, either uh, a common uh, a common uh, introduction of uh, firefighting systems or uh, a special um, a special issue with a certain uh, firefighting system like for heliports. Thank you. Plenty of reasons to uh, come to the Netherlands and visit you in, in yeah. your headquarters. So besides the overview on your activities, uh, we, of course, are always curious to, to learn and see what are your future plans. Are there future markets which you may want to tackle with your innovative product? Yes, of course. There is uh, at least one uh, regarding to the, to the rotorcraft uh, um, sector. Uh, it is, let's say, the urban air mobility. Um, uh, we saw within the last years um, uh, a lot of things going on, and, and even now, and you know that uh, there is, uh, is a lot. There are a lot of activities around Europe, but also around the world, for these kind of new transport system. And uh, we also realized that it is not only unmanned vehicles will will show up, but also uh, manned uh, 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 urban air mobility or air taxis or also uh, transportation systems for rescue and emergency uh, services like HEMS. And um, we, are, we are preparing for that. And uh, for this, for example, we are currently uh, looking for a, for, a, for a spot nearby our HQ where we will uh, settle up a, a vertiport uh, on the ground maybe and we will um, 
uh, yeah, th that can be used, really used for, for multicopters, drones, and air taxis. And on the other hand, we can develop and test our new systems for this new generation of, uh, of, of uh, air transport systems. Thank you for that, uh, uh, Bernd. You are stressing a very important point. I mean, we are all big fans of this new kind of sexy technologies to uh, uh, go into a, th a city, call it with your own app, have your unmanned uh, taxi for you, like a little bit the pictures of Blade Runner in mind. But in the end, it is something with uh, a weight uh, to be lifted and, and to uh, land secure. And it might drop or it might fall down and then it causes a fire. So it's all about logistics uh, to provide to logistics, not only for charging, but on, always also in the case of something happens badly. And so it's not only about uh, whether it's hybrid, whether it's electrically driven, whether it's unmanned or manned. It is about a complete system of safetyness. And um, great that you're also working into uh, this area. So European Rotors is about to bring everybody together. We will, of course, have the new uh, next generation urban air mobility things there. We have the operators there, we have the helicopter producers there, and we have the regulator, EASA, as EASA is the co-host of European Rotors. How important is the contact uh, to EASA from your end? That is really, really important uh, for, for us. Uh, like, you like we mentioned before, um, uh, Innofoam is uh, developing new systems or maybe also customized systems. And for example, for the, for the urban air mobility, we have to think about complete new systems, how we can tackle that and how we can make uh, safe landing spots. And therefore we have to have a close contact to EASA uh, to read carefully their notes and regulations. And then we start developing a system and also EASA is invited then to to um, perform together with us the first tests uh, and and acceptances and and also the certifications and without that yeah we cannot do that it is not uh, not possible to to only decide design a, a system technically uh, it has also to um, to to stick to all the regulations and uh, to meet all the requirements from EASA. thanks about that of course leads to my almost final question Will we see you then uh, on the during the first live edition of European Rotors from the 16th to 18th of November in 2021 uh, Cologne with maybe your own booth and maybe also uh, a dedicated training? And of course, what do you expect from the show? Yes, uh, Frank, you will see us, you will see me, you will see Innofoam with a, with the own booth over there. And by the way, it was a pity that we uh, could not... Uh, yeah, join uh, the the show uh, in the last year due to the uh, uh, COVID nineteen uh, scenario. Okay, that's that's really a pity. We were really looking forward to that, and now we are looking forward to the show this year. And uh, yeah, to to show the our company, our products, but also to have good and new contacts, um, uh, and also to. Yeah, perform a little workshop where we can uh, show up with uh, all the things we do, uh, developments, training, uh, and also what we can maybe offer to the to the new business uh, urban air mobility, air mobility um, in that field. We all do hope that we can have the first live show there. Uh, I would say, give me a needle with the vaccine, and uh, <laughs> I'm even more <laughs> optimistic. Um, but uh, here in Germany, it's said we, we shall all have our, let's say, appointment for, for vaccination by the end of summer, keeping fingers crossed. Thank you for that uh, today. A very comprehensive, very informative interview, Bernd. Please stay safe um, and uh, let's re-meet latest in November in Cologne. Thank you so much, Bernd. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, Frank. Bye-bye. Uh, and also stay safe and healthy and, uh, yeah, let's uh, see uh, in Cologne. 